They're all very different, right? But together, when you watch them all, they make sense. We're talking about the mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy. They are back with a few new faces. Take a look. The art and music and literature were some of the finest in the universe. Earth would be a fabulous place were it not for the ignorance and bigotry. Okay. It inspired me to create counter -earth. I don't care. All of the good and none of the bad. I don't need another speech by some impotent whack job whose mother didn't love him rationalizing why he needs to conquer the universe. I'm not trying to conquer the universe. I'm perfecting it. Your friend. Oh, well, wow. one of those new faces to join the trilogy joins lessons. us this morning. So please welcome I actor, writer, and storyteller, Chikuni Wuji. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really well done on the name there. You nailed uh, it. <laughs> thank you. I've been practicing <laughs> since last night. Good morning. I yes. didn't want to. I didn't want to mess this one up. So listen, you you've been a fan of the Marvel Marvel universe for so many years, but mm. now you are a part of it. What is that like? And when you got the role. I can't imagine. It must have been a little bit surreal. Actually, when James Gunn, uh, we were filming the dance sequence from this other show I did with him, Peacemaker. Yeah. And okay. there's an opening uh, dance sequence. And he pulled me aside and said, um, can I talk to you? And I joked with him. I said, is this when you tell me that you actually plan to hire Chiwetel Ejiofor and not Chikuti Wuji? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and he said, no, actually, um, I, would like to, um, I would like you to play the High Evolutionary in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So you ask what my reaction was. It was very Homer Simpson. I just stared at him and <laughs> blinked at the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, constantly. And then, but wow. it, it's so hard to wrap my head around it as a fan. I yeah. saw the first one of these in, uh, in uh, Times Square here just thinking, wow, what is this? And never once did I imagine ever that I'd be part of yeah. it, you know? It's crazy. And, and here you are, right? Yeah. In, in this final installment over the course of 10 years, I can't believe it's been 10 years, by the way, and now we're at the final installment. Your character, though, overall, not one of the good guys. No. It's okay, so how do you, how do you describe <laughs> your, your character in this final installment? Uh, narcissistic, sociopath, mad genius. Nice. <laughs> and a touch of zealotry in there. Do you know what I mean? He is, he's very damaged, shall we say that, yeah, but yeah. he's a lot of fun to play. Um, I have the core character in the, in the formation, in the lives of the Guardians as a whole, you know? Yeah, I mean, nothing like you in real life. No, no, not <laughs> no, at all. Sincerely, how do you I don't know, maybe the narcissism. Oh. You see my shoes. I'm joking. <laughs> how do you prepare for a role like that, though, when you're a bad guy? Um, you know, your imagination goes mm. wild. I am from the school of letting the imagination take mm. over as opposed to necessarily transforming myself into the person. It's, it's about building character. So when yeah. the cameras roll, the character comes into it. I've always loved uh, villains. I mean, yeah. as a kid, I've yeah. always like watched them. They're yeah. the lines I remember. Yep. My favorite actors from Gary Oldman to Peter O'Toole to Alan Rickman mm. to Denzel. I mean, when they're, when they're bad, they're yeah. bad, bad, you know? So yeah. I, I, I relish the chance to come into this world, um, into this universe, the Marvel Universe, as a villain. It couldn't have, it it's played fun. into everything I've dreamt of. Gotcha. You know? Fun to be a bad guy. Yeah, yeah it really. is. It really is. <laughs> right. and those are the lines you remember, too. I'm like thinking back to Alan Rickman playing some characters. Exactly. Um, you know what's so interesting? Because we were looking up and, and, and reading about you and, and, and your long uh, line of, of all the things you've been in. But you studied economics <laughs> at Yale. So how did that go from economics at Yale to, you know, acting? I feel that, you know, Yale in, doing economics at Yale, my family are predominantly economists. My dad, my oh. mom, my older brother, my sister, we all studied it. I didn't know what I wanted to be yeah. growing up, you know, and economics is this wonderful philosophy that gives you a lot of flexibility. And mainly, I was studying in England at the time, okay. and they make okay. you decide what you're going to be very early. From like 16, you're eliminating subjects and stuff. Oh, and wow. I knew if I could come to America, I would have those first two years of liberal arts to explore things, right. maybe act. I don't know, mm -hmm. but give me time. So I had a bet. I said to my dad, I think I want to study in America. My dad said, OK, I'll, I'll make a bet with you. If you get into an Ivy League, I'll let you go to America. It was the single most expensive bet of his life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he never bet again. And so I went and did economics, but as soon as I started doing plays there as an adult, as yeah. opposed to child plays, I was like, this is really, really what I want to do, yeah. you know? And my parents were amazing. Mm -hmm. I graduated with economics because I wanted to finish what I started, but yes. they were my biggest supporters for drama school, both, That's you awesome. know, practically Aww. and emotionally. That's yeah. awesome. But the stage, is yeah. that where you started, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, it plans to return. Maybe we'll see you here oh, on Broadway absolutely. very soon. Absolutely. I will never stop doing stage. I mean, it's so weird because it's been five years. My last play, I played Othello in Shakespeare in the Park yes. mm -hmm. with Corey Stoll and all that. Yeah. I can't believe it's been five years since I last did a play because my oh, wow. whole career up until then, 
I did a play at least a year. So I'm looking for the right thing, you know, mm -hmm. the, the one that makes you go, I'm ready to go through eight shows a week yeah. and that sort of rigor, you yeah. know. Um, and I, hopefully that'll be soon because I do miss it. Yes. Yeah. Oh we gosh. hope it will. <laughs> I love Shakespeare in the Park. It's so, oh, amazing. so amazing. The raccoons. You can get a Talk about raccoons. <laughs> yeah. Say, but real quick, I know we got to go. I know we got to go. But diving, is that one of your talents? Diving? Yeah, diving. Singing, dancing, diving uh, were, were the notes oh, that we no, were given. I, I, no, I wouldn't call that a diet, whatever. It was, <laughs> a it was a hobby for a while. <laughs> but I wouldn't call it a talent. I was going to say, we got to go. We gotta, <laughs> yeah, we go. All right, great to have you here this morning. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank Can't you. wait to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I know. Thank you. It's going to be a good one. All oh. right, and you can check out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in theaters. Right. Oh, it's starting tomorrow. Mm, so I can't believe it's over. <laughs> Great series. Don't All right. cry. I know. Tissues I, are I over there. I can't one. help you. I really you. do love this one.